In Hitchcock and Scully, we learned there's more to the guys than meets the eye, including them making some, like, you know, dodgy decisions in the past. I wondered if we're going to find out about any more skeletons in Hitchcock and Scully's closets. Well, you know, that's a good question. I'm, I'm not sure, because we don't see the scripts until, like, a few days before we start shooting. And so there are always a, a, a pleasant surprise, because our writers are just so darn gifted and good. Um, but I would love to keep exploring... You know, that, that episode, the Hitchcock and Scully episode, was beneficial to us. I think the audience really liked it, but it was really beneficial to us, too, because we've been filling in the blanks ourselves, and the writers have been, you know, giving us more, and, and we do more, and then the writers would do more. But this really kind of told us a little more. The only disappointment I had was that the guy they hired for me wasn't very good looking. <laughs> as, as we're at Comic Con, if you could play a superhero, who would, it, who would you want to be? Well, growing up, Spider Man was it. Yeah. I mean, it was a deal. I mean, you know, and I move like Spider Man. I've got spidey senses. I tingle once in a while. <laughs> so, you've been in this industry at least ten years. What is it like to be on a nice, uh, like, coming into this show? Um, were there expectations you had that were fulfilled or were fulfilled in ways that you hadn't seen before? Like, what made it special to you after so many years of doing different people to work with? Like, well, uh, it's, it's a good question um, because I knew that this kind of camaraderie and this kind of familial feeling among crew and cast. I mean, I knew it existed. I guest starred on shows where it existed. And my father was on a show where that existed, so I grew up seeing that. And my dad was on Bonanza uh, back in the day. I got a right to pick up on That's it. Um, but that was so much fun to hang out and see. And everything. So I knew that that world existed out there, but I also knew, came to learn over the years, that that's pretty rare air. And any job is a joy, it really is. No matter how difficult some people may say it can be, and and it can be frustrating, there's no doubt about that. But overall, it's, we're, we're playing make-believe. You know, it's, it's, it's a blast. Um, and then this show came along. Um, perseverance is a huge... I, I think I've, I've also been a teacher at times, and, uh, and there's something, that's one of the main things I try to drive home to people. I say, you, you, know, you know you want everything right now, and that's understandable, but really, just the long, it's the long haul. It's not the short haul. So it's, it's been a lovely lovely uh, experience. You were in a Bonanza uh, movie back in the uh, 93 circuit. I was surprised you didn't play your, your dad's character's son. Do you remember why that might have been the case? Yeah, I was I, I, I was too old to be my father's son. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's essentially that's what was that's what was uh, presented to me. Because they called me and said, we want you to be in this. And I said, okay, well, let me see what the script is. And then I read it and said, because it's like written, this guy's 25 years old. And I was like, uh, not, you know, I'm not 25, right? You know, in fact, when I was 25, I looked 35. So um, that was essentially it. Yeah. That was a nice tribute. Oh, thanks. I, yeah, I got to. Well, among other things, I, I, you know, I got to work with Ben Johnson, who's one of my heroes. And I think one of the finest film actors that ever lived, and I think he was underrated, despite the fact that he won an Academy Award. So. Um, so that was always great. It was that was a good deal. Yeah. Thank you.